Good afternoon. Tributes are pouring in for renowned South African playwright, actor and producer Mbongeni Ngema, who was killed in a car crash in the Eastern Cape last night. Family members, fellow artists and musicians have paid tribute to the 68-year-old who is described as a legend in the music industry. Ngema was known for co-writing the legendary film and theatre show Sarafina. He also co-wrote popular theatre shows such as Waza Albert and Asna Mali. He worked with international musicians such as Quincy Jones and Michael Bolton. His family confirmed his death through a media statement. The cultural and creative industry has reacted with shock to the death of Ngema. His close colleagues in the industry have described him as a legendary director with many unique talents. The 68-year-old passed away in a car accident in the Eastern Cape yesterday. SABC News reporter Vusi Kumalo has more. The man described in the cultural and creative arts industry as a huge pop-up tree has just fallen. Currently, there's a huge void now in the industry that has been uh, described and also uh, said by a number of artists uh, who early this morning, some of them learnt with shock about his passing in a car accident in the Eastern Cape um, yesterday. We are uh, now joined by Edmund Mklongo, who is an award-winning uh, artistic uh, director and also a playwright who also worked alongside Ngema for a number of years. Let us talk to him so that we can hear uh, perhaps uh, how much of a void has been left with the passing of uh, Mr. Ngema. So we, we learned with shock yesterday upon hearing the news of his passing. You as someone who has worked alongside him, how would you describe um, his impact in the cultural and creative industry? Uh, first of all, we want to say condolences to the family and also to pay tribute to the legend Dr. Mbongeni Ngema, uh, who has just passed away. He was so sad then as a country because this is a legend who has put the country uh, in the uh, international map. Today, we, we, we pride ourselves that we have a, 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 a Tony Award, which is the highest award in the theatre in the whole world, through Sarafina, uh, when he, he, he played it uh, at the Broadway Theatre in New York for years. And we've got a lot of other artists uh, and performing artists he developed uh, and who are now uh, world stars in Hollywood, in Broadway. Actually, if you look at the Elon King as a musical, uh, the foundation of Elon King are uh, Sarafina actors. So we are certain by his loss, by this loss. Mm. Just generally, he is known as a singer, as a playwright, as an artistic director. But what perhaps is uh, one thing that you perhaps are not known by quite a number of people as someone who have who has worked with you for a number of years? Oh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, but he was man of many talent, uh, unique, uh, hard worker, uh, trendsetter, um, and also a down to earth man who has got an eye for talent. If you look at his old productions, you'll never uh, find uh, an actor who's not talented. And after that, he will make sure that he groomed, he provides his skills to those particular actors. That's why you see them in many, some are musicians, are singers, uh, some are in the, in the film industry. And also, he trained himself, even playing the guitar. And uh, he, when he joined Gibson Kent, he uh, was uh, regarded as the father of a township theatre. He went there and joined him and uh, uh, learned some of his... Uh, skills from there and from there he took over. He, he developed himself, educated himself even to write plays, uh, to direct uh, and, and the rest is history as we, we, we always say. Also one of the important things is that he also taught himself by uh, learning the techniques of Krotowski. Many people don't know he was a Krotowski <laughs> student and he mastered that one and you could see in most of his actors that's why they were most of his actors are very unique because he taught them those unique skills which he, it's not easy to master unless you are a hard worker like himself mm. um what are few lessons uh, that you have taken from him as as you as the artistic industry creative industry cultural industry has taken out of his uh, life well, uh, him and Gibson Kent uh, and uh, Dr. John Garney, uh, uh, they, they've, they've given us uh, the hope that especially the theatre 
is alive and you can take the theater into international world uh, we, we look at them and then said okay we want to follow and 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 because we are educated unlike them we, we did not go to school we've got that opportunity and then we those are the lessons that say, okay let's master these skills let's teach our uh, young people aspirant artists who, who are talented let's complement their skill uh, their talent with skill uh, we, we we learn the humbleness of them and the hard working of them through hard times they come from protest theater which was uh, during the very hard times uh, under apartheid. But they, 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 they went on, they never gave up, they gave light, they mirror what society was experiencing in South Africa and they put South Africa in the world. And now we're in the freedom country, uh, which they fought uh, uh, so hard through theatre. And we need to take it from there and say, what are the challenges of today? Can we mirror them? Can we give hope through theatre? Can we train more? People can we make sure that theatre is alive so that these legends work, won't die.